Scene 9 Interior Caves beneath Canterlot Cadence rams into one of the walls in an attempt to escape. She is completely exhausted. Oh, it's hopeless. I've tried everything. I'll never get out of here. Cadence sits down. I won't die first down here. But unless somebody comes looking for me, I would surely die of hunger. Cadence shivers. Somebody coming to rescue me is my only chance. Cadence attempts to wipe the tears from her face. Shining Armour is such a sweet guy, isn't he? <gasps> Cadence turns her head towards a large crystal which shows Queen Chrysalis's, or rather her own, face. Leave me alone, you brute! Oh, you poor little thing! Missing Shining Arm already, are you? <laughs> Cadence glares at her. What do you want, you heartless beast? Oh, I just came to tell you how much you're missing out on. Cadence stares. Tis flowing down her cheeks. They all think I'm in shock for being attacked by some creature. I've got them completely wrapped around my hoof. There's no hope for you, princess. Cadence looks horrified. Shining armor's been with me all afternoon. <laughs> he thought I might want to put off our wedding. I insisted against it, of course. Cadence looks up from her tears in confusion. The... the wedding? Well, of course, Princess. Why would I want to put off my own wedding? Your wedding? Well, of course. After all, me and Shining Armour are engaged. No, you're not. He's engaged to me. Who's going to know? Cadence glares furiously. No pony will ever know what happened to you. No pony going to save you. You'll probably lose your mind and you'll slowly die of starvation. When you eventually go, your body will rot down here. <laughs> Cadence continues to glare as the face disappears from the crystal. Interior. Cantalot Castle. Princess Cadence's room. Cadence in the caves beneath Cantalot can be seen in the mirror. Queen Chrysalis watches as the image disappears. She walks away from it with a smirk on her face. <laughs>